Hello, I am back again with a little bit of a craft project. I'm putting together some some last minute Christmas gifts for the kids. So I figured I wanted to cover these and make matching pens. Um, so I need my scissors, put my little orange scissors, go oops, right there, okay. So I wanna open this package up first. And these are adorable. I found these and the pens at um, the Dollar Tree. So they were a dollar quarter a package. So a dollar and a quarter for three little mini combo books, composition books, and a dollar and a quarter for eight gel pens. So that's pretty cool. Alrighty, so and I just need three of these for now. So I'll put these over to the side. Okay, so first things first. We've got two boys and a girl. So we get our cover one with this yellow. I've got I picked out yellow, this gorgeous gray, and this gorgeous blue. So I'm sure they'll like them. They may swap them back and forth, and that's okay too. All righty. So what I'm going to do is that's not wide enough this way, but it is definitely wide enough that way. So I'm just going to recover the front and the back using these papers, and then a piece of the scrap to do the pen. All righty. So I do need two pieces, which are. Let me see here. I need them that size. There's my pencil right there. Alrighty. Is that up on the edge? Yep, right there it is. Okay. There, now I know what size to make them. And that should, nope, it was crooked. Good thing I'm checking. All right, so let's do this again. Line it up this way so I can see the top and the bottom and the sides. That's better and that's better, okay. Much better, okay, so. All right, that's much better. So now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut three and three. So let's do this. <clears throat> okay, and I need it with this corner. In there. These are all right, two and half, three quarters. It's a little bit more than two and three quarters. All right, so we need to do that. And that was for the width, two and three quarters. Okay, and then the other way was what? Four, no, one strike more than four and a quarter. Yep. Four and a quarter, okay. Alrighty. So there's four and a quarter and one strike more. And then two and three quarters. And one and a more. Okay, so now we've got those bits. That's perfect and we can use these scraps for the matching pins. Yay! Okay, so now we're going to take, and I have a, oh, that's a circle. Okay, this is the half inch one. Okay. I've got a one inch and a half inch corner rounder, so this one makes the smaller one, which I'm assuming is this. So, I'm going to go ahead and round the two outer edges. And that should be perfect. Exactly. Yay! They're so easy and so much fun to make. All right, so there's that one and that one. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All righty, so now we'll take a book. And 
this one will be glued on here. Perfect. I'm gonna kind of spread it out with the nozzle too because I do want it all the way up against the edge. That'll work. Perfect. Okay. I think that's good. Very good. Ta-da! So that one's done. Think about so cute. <laughs> Just makes them look so so much more fancy and homemade, you know. Instead, of just giving a plain pad. And with the matching pin to boot, that's even more fun. I should have done this on my silicone mat, but that's okay now. We got her done already on here. There. Alrighty. Put this up there. Tap that. Okay. Check that again. I don't want it hanging over at all. So that's what I'm checking for to make sure. And then I want to squeeze that glue in there and spread it out. And then if anything is hanging off, which there is just a wee bit, then I can trim that off. Yep. Alrighty, but I can do that part after they dry. Alright, so we've got one done. Two more to go. All the kids love to get little pads of paper, so they especially love it when I make them too. When I have a stack full of paper that I've trimmed off and and then I glue them all together up at the top and they just, they love that I do that for them. And they usually end up being rainbow paper pad. Which is pretty cool. And I have extra ones right in my drawer so I can show you what I'm talking about as soon as I glue this on. Okay. been going crazy making pads so you can see my whole stack there you go isn't that fun <laughs> so and I just glue it on the top and the rainbow colors I've been cutting a lot of yellow ones so that's pretty neat I used to do them like this and just fold the paper over which works too but I like the blue ones better all right so that's out of the way so let's Continue on what we're doing here. These are really fun to make for, just for little extra gifts too. So like I'll keep a couple extra of these in my purse. So that way if I see somebody during the holidays and I think, oh yeah, you know, I want to give her something. Oh, I, I've got something in my purse I can give her. And that's always fun to be able to have something to, to hand out. Yep. It's nice for people to, to feel that, that being thought of. 
Ooh, now this one I cut a little short. Aha, uh -huh, so I'm gonna have to make another little piece on there. Aha, uh -huh. but that's okay. I can deal with that. So somehow that one got short. Alright, very good. So that one's done. And last but not least, this one. Both of those are the same width. And are these short? Yes, these are short too. So rather than putting those on and having to fix them, I'm going to go ahead and get another piece. Yep, a different color. Ooh, here, I'll do a black and white one. Want to two of those? Nope. I like two hearts though. Yes, I do. Okay. There, I've got these. I can do it this way instead of the green. Alrighty, so let's do this. That'll work. Let's try this again. Alrighty. Well, I already had the dimensions, but they didn't do me good last time, did they? <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. So we need right there and right there. Alrighty, now let's trim these down again. There, and from there. Now I can put these ones on. Perfect. Okay, good. Alrighty. Um, oh, yeah. Hang on. I forgot to spread that out really does make a difference along the edges so that way the the corners don't pop up we're gonna spend all the time making something even if it's something quick like this we want it to stay together right all right and that's perfect size Spatula. Ooh, I almost glued it on the wrong side. Silly me. So, and you can do this with any pad. I mean, I've done it with the legal pads, the big ones and the and the half size ones. I've done it with the big, the big uh, composition books and the half size ones. And I've done these ones. And there's other smaller pads of paper that you can get. The ones where they have the the sticky notepads and stuff. You can do those ones. Pretty much any kind of pad of paper you can cover. And even if it doesn't have a cover, you can create a cover. The kids will like that. Awesome. Okay, and I just needed to fix this one. So, let's just add a little piece. Was that the... I guess this is the way it goes, it looks like. All right, so that is on the back part. All right. Oops, wrong one. This one. Yep. And I just need a little sliver. Yep. We can deal with that. We can do a sliver. So there, and we just want it about an eighth of an inch. So that's in the middle, and that's right in the middle there. Okay. Ta -da. Voila. And that should definitely cover it. 
Oh yes, a little bit extra. Poifet. And you can even fix your boo-boos. Yep, you can. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put this right on here. And right there. Nice. Perfect. All right, so now let's just go ahead and trim that little piece off the tip. Okay, now I wanted to check the sides because some of them are a little bit hanging over and that's okay. Just wanna trim that off. a little bit on this end. There. All right. Very good. Let's trim that little excess off. And that one is done and ready. Now let's check this one. Just barely. The reason why I'm doing this is because if you have just a little tiny lip at all hanging over, then it's gonna make it difficult to keep it on there. It's going to start working its way off, and I don't want that to happen. I want the, the coverage to stay on for them. But we don't want to give the notebook a reason to start shedding its layers. Nope. And even though it's just a very thin sliver, and it probably wouldn't make that much of a difference, but depends on how long they have their pads laying around. These will probably go in their special boxes. So, yep. Alrighty, so these, these are pretty much done unless I decide to put stickers on or I might make a little pack of stickers so they can decorate themselves. That might be a fun idea. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do the pens. And what I need to do is get the bottom off. And I'm sticking my fingernail in between the, the bottom cap and the the barrel, the ink barrel, there, and then I've got to oops, pull it right off, and that's perfect. Okay, so let's not lose these. I'm going to put them right there, and we'll take this one off. Okay. There, there's that one. One more. Ooh, that one's on. Kind of, oops, okay, there it goes. Ooh, that one came right out. Nice, okay, very good. So we've got to measure this. So we want a piece that's gonna cover from the inside glue, I mean the inside ink uh, container up to the top of where this black line is, so. So I need it to go right there to there. So just under three inches. Three inches, okay, so just about three inches, a wee bit less, all right. So we need this color and yellow and the darker, okay. One, two, three, and we need it three inches. So this, this, and this, okay. That's one of each color. Alrighty, so let's move these out of the way. And we can trim this. So we need them about three inches. This one's wider for some reason. Alright. So we need this three inches right there. A little bit less. Okay. And 
then probably only need like half an inch. How wide is this pen? It's about, yep, it'll be about half an inch. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this at half an inch. So in order to do this right, I'm just gonna cut one at a time and line this up on the silver part and there's half an inch. Most trimmers, the silver bit here at the end where you're gonna start your slicing, then that's normally, if you check it out, it's normally half an inch. Okay, so there's two of them and we need one more. There and there. Perfect. Alrighty. So then, and you look at that and you go, that's going to fit around there. But remember, the inkwell itself is real thin. So we're going to round this off and then slide it in around that inkwell. Okay, so we've got to curl these. And I have a very thin skewer that I like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this on here and I'm going to have to force it to start going around this. Make it curve. Okay, so let's do this one now. That should do it. So we slide it in there. Oh, you know what? It does. I could have made it a little bit wider because that well is a lot bigger. Okay, so let's get that back out. Ah, there it comes. Alrighty, so I need to make it wider. Alrighty, well that's good to know. So let's try that again. Let's do it three quarters of an inch. Alright, so three inches. These were the three inch ones, I believe. Yep, one, two, three. Okay, so we want three quarters of an inch. So, is that going to be too, too wide? Nope, I think that's going to be just how we need it. All right. And it's a good thing I've got extra scraps. And I'm not going to edit this out because you need to be able to see that there's, you know, a lot of things we do trial and error. And I don't... I don't care if you see what I'm doing. You know, if I make a boo-boo, then well, boo-boos happen, you know? They happen to all of us. So, and that's why I purposely don't edit that type of stuff out. I just leave it in there. All right, there, so that's better. So now because it's wider though, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around something else. So, oh, here's a bigger one. All right, there's a bigger skewer. So we'll start out with this one. Oh, that's actually a chopstick. We'll start out with this one. And then we'll force it around the other one. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And that should work. And then we can wrap it around this smaller one. It is kind of tough to do this, but you just got to work it. There, and then it was able to wrap over itself. Okay, so I did both sides and then did it. So now let's see how this one fits now. <clears throat> that should fit in there and perfectly around that. Awesome. Okay, so now we just have to tap it past where the, the bottom is going to go in. And 
up to that black line, which is perfect. Okay, so then we can take this and we can push that back in there and check it out. We now have a pen that matches the little notebook. Isn't that cool? How fun. What do you think of that? And so for a dollar and a quarter at the Dollar Tree, you can get a package of eight of these black gel pens or blue. I preferred the black because it was for Christmas. So, plus also I know that these edges are always black anyway. So, all right. So, and then a three pack of these little books. Let me show you the front of it again. The mini composition book. A three pack for a dollar and a quarter. So, you can get two, two of these packages and make six of them and still have two pens left. That's pretty good. So for $5, for $5, you'll get six gifts to give to six different people. That's pretty neat. Or you could give them a set of three even, or a set of two. Wouldn't that be fun? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and finish these ones up and we'll insert these in the pins. Alrighty, here's that pretty gray one, the light gray. And that just amazes me, it's, it slips right over it. And then just press that in just a wee bit and then put that top in. There you go, pop. That is so cool. I've done these so many times, but it still just intrigues me. That just looks so cool to see them, how they match like that. All right, and then we've got a darker one. So let's go ahead and finish this one. And who doesn't like paper? You know, everybody likes to have a little pad of paper, and these are the perfect size to throw in your pocketbook. So, and I like to keep these in my car because they're the perfect size too, right in the glove box. So that we always have a pad of paper in there. All righty. And perfect little extra gifts for stocking stuffers. Come on, tap down. There it is. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. And then we put this one in. Ta-da! That is so cool. Isn't that pretty? So we've got that one. And we've got the gray one. <laughs> I love it. And we've got the yellow one. Isn't that fun for a set? That's pretty neat. I mean, what teenage, what teenager wouldn't like something like this? You know, girls, they can throw it right in their pocketbook. The boys, they can throw it right in their their school bag, or my grandsons will probably just leave it right next to the computers. That's pretty fun. Alrighty, and then I'll just take a bow and just tie it around there and put it in a plastic bag and it'll be all ready to give to them. So I hope you like this gift idea. Something very uh, simple to do and quick, rather quick, um, and obviously very inexpensive. So again, $5 for, for a set of six. You can't beat that. So, alrighty, so I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And if you do like this idea, then please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.